emergency responders, even though they're often viewed as superheroes who are just naturally equipped to do this work, they're not. They're humans, just like everybody else. Not only do they suffer sometimes the physical consequences of the work, but there are a lot of exposures. We know that we code trauma through all of our senses, and not only do they see this situation, they hear it, many times they touch it, can smell it, sometimes even taste it, and these are all pathways for potential stress injury for responders. We never charge an agency or a participant for any of our solutions or our resources. Responders are not on the front line, they are the front line. People don't realize how stressful the work is. People rely on our responders, whether it's EMS, fire, or police, to really provide that safety net. People don't know how emotionally difficult that can be, right? Physically, mentally, all factors that are so stressful for responders. We believe in empowerment through knowledge, and what that equals is normalizing what responders are going through. They're dealing with very stressful events, and then they're going home and taking some of that with them.